the next segment is uh, going to be a little bit of an interesting one. Uh, so I'll start with the prayer. Vagarta Viva Samprato, Vagarta Pratipate, Jagata Pitra Vande, Parvati Parmeshwaro, Sadashiva Samaram Bham, Shankaracharya Madhyama, Maspadacharya, Pariyanta Mande Guru Paramparam. So we have heard a lot of discourse uh, from uh, the last, for the last uh, what, uh, 24 plus 36 hours or so. A lot of it has uh, really been diagnosis about uh, what we can, what are the issues facing the, the Dharmic Samaj at large. Um, and uh, you know how do we fix that and uh, so this session is taking a little bit of a proactive approach how can we use the medium of uh, media and entertainment especially the cinema industry how can uh, that be used to change the narrative for uh, bharat and uh, so we i welcome the next speaker major dr gulshan sharma major saab is uh, basically a retired serviceman who has given a lot of his uh, time and service for the nation. Uh, he has worked, he is, uh, after his army service, he has worked in the Indian bureaucracy and was instrumental in setting up uh, the MBA tourism programs across uh, institutions. So he's very passionate about tourism. He holds a doctorate of tourism in the PhD in tourism and uh, he's also a scholar, but uh, these days he's heavily focused on the idea of making sure we have uh, more employment post uh, in the tourism sector, especially the post pandemic, because that is also vital when we, for we talk about the Dharmic Samaj, Swami Vivekananda very, uh, yeah, very beautifully put it. He said, it is futile to preach Vedanta to somebody on the empty stomach. So it is also important that we give the, when we talk of the four Purusharthas, uh, Dharma Arthas. So it is important that we have the Arthas, so which means we have to also think of the economy, which means jobs, and so he's heavily focused on those issues that is also very important, uh, bread and butter issues. And he's going to talk about how cinematic tourism could help uh, in actually creating a positive image for Bharat. So Major Saab, uh, Major Saab if you're there, please, uh, I would like to sp spotlight Major Dr. Gulshan Sharma. The ch he represents, he's a Director General of Indian Chamber for Service Industry. Uh, they're working heavily in the area of uh, various service domains, 12 ser service sectors that has been identified by the Ministry of Finance, especially he's passionate these days about the tourism. And so I think, and it's vital we understand that because we have had a lot of people talk about a lot of things uh, like how uh, the movie is, movies have always showcased things in a bad light. So it's, I think, important if we can look at these as an agent of change and how do we use movie to advance the agenda of change and create a positive image for Bharat. And also Bharat means just not the culture, but also the geography. So uh, with that, Major Saab, please unmute and uh, the floor is yours. Uh, please uh, carry on. Sir. Thank you. Major Dr. Gulshan Sharma. Uh, I'm not, okay, let me see if I can unmute you, sir. Uh, Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you. And I know you wanted to share your PowerPoint. Uh, I think we, you can do so. Yeah, but uh, I don't know whether my camera is visible or not. No, you, because... you, are, visible. you are visible. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. And nowadays, uh, everybody, because we are a part of nature, we should call it green morning, green afternoon, and green evening. I think that's better because as long as we are part of nature, as long as uh, we live in harmony with nature, the world would be a better place. That is the first thing which we all got to take into considerations because uh, nature plays very, very, very important, important role, role for, for all, all of us. us. So let, let me just... just uh, proceed. Because the just, topic, uh, can you mute? Unmute one of uh, mute one of your speakers because there's an echo. Yes, yes. Is, is it, it okay, okay now? Problem. Is it, is it okay? okay? Is it okay now? It is better. It is better. Okay. 
Uh, and let me also make a request. Uh, uh, we, Major Saab is going to speak for about 30, 40 minutes, but please start looking at uh, his presentation and thinking of questions so that we can also do the Q&A efficiently. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if my PPT is visible, then I will take on from here. Is it okay? Yes, I will see it. We can yeah, because I can't see <laughs> over here. Great. So, ladies and gentlemen, indeed, uh, first of all, my deep gratitudes and thanks to Mr. Rajiv Verma and, of course, Professor Vivek Shankar Natarajanji, uh, Loka Dharma Seva Foundation of America. You people are doing commendable job. And whenever we speak to Rajiv Ji, you always get some new threads, some new combinations, permutations, and you get a lot of insight what exactly is the need of the hour, what is going on and what should go on. And particularly this Global Hindu Conference 2021, when we are talking about, and there's a context of red, white, green axis, and particularly against Hindus. Let me just uh, share a couple of thoughts. How education, how our media entertainment industry and along with that because during this pandemic there's a lots of suffering almost about five crore people those are directly or indirectly associated with tourism industry in india they all have passed through a very difficult times whether they are travel agents or they are tour operators they are tourist transporters they are tourist excursionists or whatever they are doing now, how over the years things have got changed, where we were and where we are. When Anjali Swamiji was conducting the previous program and I was hearing carefully Madam Kamlesh Kapoorji and a lot of things when she was telling the digital age and we are minimizing the youth intelligence, we are not telling, we are not allowing them to grow or maybe the technology is not allowing them to grow their thought process, their critical thinking, their logical thinking, their analytical thinking, their positive thinking. There are a couple of things which has to be done. During this pandemic, right from 25th of March, 2020, we had taken on the agenda like doctors, nurses, paramedical people, they are doing great job. Why not we should also take on the responsibility and we are international chamber for service industry and i'm proud to share that uh, i'm the first uniformed soldier from the indian army who moved on deputation to the ministry of tourism government of india and when i set up the first travel and tourism institute for the ministry and when i drafted with my entire team the first mba tourism for the country i realized there's so much which can be done and 1993, when I was stepping out after completing my desirable service with the Army and the Ministry of Tourism, I took over the responsibility because uh, new responsibility was during my tenure of the Ministry of Tourism, I realized three things, medical tourism, cinematic tourism, and NRI tourism. When I say NRI tourism, that means the Indian diaspora, those were coming to India there was no platform. There was no such, you know, a stage where you could appreciate them, recognize them, bring some interface with them face to face. And the like-minded people could be put across to uh, certain organizations or individuals where they can have a mutual benefit, win-win situation for themselves, as well as for the country and civilizations. So, we started 1994, that was Punjabi Pravasi Divas in India. Nine years had passed and just when we were turning to 2003, then the late uh, India's Prime Minister, Atal Bihari Vajpayeeji, a visionary, visionary, within eight minutes presentation, he told Major Sahib here, let's have a cup of tea, all of us together. All the government secretaries were also there. There was a couple of other dignitaries, those were there, political people and all. He told, it's a great job you people are doing. You're doing Punjabi Parvasi Divas. Let's take one step ahead. And he told, why can't we think at the national level and we should do Pravasi Bharatiya Divas? And the birth was 9th of January, 2003. 
So everybody started looking towards, he told, when do you celebrate Punjabi Pravasi Divas? We said 13th of January. He says, let's have Pravasi Bharti Divas 9th of January. So everybody was looking left and right, what exactly is that? And he narrated, 9th of January was the date when Mahatma Gandhi ji returned to India from South Africa. Who, who could be a better NRI? And that was the day the Pravasi Bharatiya Divas started in India in 2003. I wanted to set the context so that you get an idea what our chamber is, how we are working, what exactly are we doing, how we are interface and contact and a collaboration and connectivity, whatever we are doing between non-resident Indians and as far as Bharat is concerned. So when we take the journey forward, I wish to share that during this pandemic, when all of a sudden 25th of March, 2020, complete lockdown, nobody can move, nobody can come out and everybody was, I would say just uh, fabricated what to do, how to proceed. And that time the doctors, nurses and paramedical like great warriors, they took on the responsibility. Our chamber thought 1.65 billion children world over when they are away, from their schools, colleges, universities, institutions, skill centers, how our chamber can support. So ladies and gentlemen, right from 25th of March, 2020, we took on three words, coining of three words, making education relevant. Why education? What kind of education? how to do hand-holding of teachers, because today the whole scenario has got changed. As I'll flip through these slides, you will get an idea. And we didn't talk about the pure education. When we were talking about teachers and youth empowerment, we also talked about wellness. We also talked about Ayurveda. We are the organization which has completed 1,170 webinars during this pandemic and reaching more than 3 million people across the world. And we were also focusing on what should be done within the boundary walls when the flights are not moving, people are unable to travel, people are unable to come, how the people are going to survive. Because jo chat pakodi wala hai, rikshe wala hai, three wheeler wala hai, they were also surviving somewhere. Souvenir shop ka hai. How are they going to survive? What could be done? So domestically within the boundary, geographical boundaries, what we can do. And can we really make education relevant during this pandemic? Because every crisis brings new opportunity. 2008, when we had the financial crisis, that time you had a difficulty. And then came Uber, then came Ola, then came Airbnb. Then first time people started thinking much about the cloud computing. And there were a couple of things which has come up at that point of time because necessity always tells you what is to be discovered further and how the world has to go on. For the first time, the water management strategy is deeper way. The children right at their respective residences, they started talking and working. How can we save every drop of water? Because that is going to be the next crisis which is going to come world over when we are talking about climate change and other things. Organic farming, the most important thing, we have done about 70 webinars on Ayurveda for global wellness. Every Saturday, every Saturday 7 p.m. Indian Standard Time, we brought a special program all the Ayurvedists of the country, we have put in a perspective on the webinars that talk about all the diseases. And one thing we learned, whatever we are putting inside the body, that gives a birth to the thought process and that makes us negative. That's why your food habits are very important. It is not that how long you live, but how you live, how well you live, how you, how you really take your journey and this body so-called temple. I was listening to Kamlesh Ji when she was talking about when you take this body in a realistic way, in a systematic way. So what you put inside the body, that gives the reflection outside also to your body. Nutrition, waste to resource management, ancient values in education. It is for the first time we were we were not understanding what exactly is the priority before the Honorable Prime Minister of India.
श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी द ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी कंप्लीट लॉकडाउन द वर्ल्ड इज पासिंग थ्रू डिफिकल्ट मोमेंट टाइम्स इन ऑल दैट एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ही सेस लेट्स एडॉप्ट विद न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी कैन यू इमेजिन आफ्टर थर्टी फोर ईयर्स एंड देन द एंशियंट वैल्यूज our own civilization and understanding who am i and i was recollecting in nalanda the darban those used to stand over there the 10000 people studying over there children or youth or whatever you want to call it and 2000 acharya the darban used to conduct the first interview and i still read because we had more time to read read and read during this pandemic time otherwise it wouldn't have been possible and to repackage and to relearn and to rethink and to reskill and to upskill whatever we want to call it because now it's a multi skilling one skill is not going to help anybody we all got to multi skill ourselves then comes responsible role of media entertainment industry we will talk about it we also focused because the prime minister gave priority that the eight beautiful states of the northeast part of india if they are not taken into fold this could be a disaster so all the eight states and complete right the chicken neck what you talk about siliguri and all and beyond that all the eight states states were given special emphasis and the honorable prime minister called it act east policy not look east policy because the 10 countries which are sitting on the other side where ashoka took buddhism and he was talking about right the myanmar cambodia laos singapore malaysia thailand indonesia philippines brunei all the 10 countries when we talked about and then of course how nris can contribute towards indian education ecosystem i wish to tell right in the first slide itself we have not taken a single rupee from any nri till date not a single rupee and we don't wish to take the the the, the thing is the bond should not be only for money why not nri should work and they can adopt their own village where their parents were their grandparents were take five children in your fold and give good quality education to them if those children prosper if those children excel whatever we are deliberating for the last two days i think the basic cause and sometime it gives you a little pain also when you go deeper into things i went to couple of people some politicians in the past and i was telling them ke sir our chamber would like to give free education and free skills and everything and they told me have you turned mad major sahab if we educate all of them they will develop reasoning if they develop reasoning they are going to trouble us that kind of a past we have seen so what i wish to say is the only way nelson mandela ji used a word called word called weapon i don't want to use a word called weapon because some people survive and their business survives and their civilization survive when they have the arms and armaments because the amount of money world over which is being spent on destructive weapons if that money can be utilized for the better humanity better civilization living peacefully living in harmony i think it can be a better place we all got to understand that is something very very important so our non resident indians when i talk about our brothers and sisters think about your native place jis gaon ke neem aur people ke ped ke niche aapke purvajon ne samay lagaya aur aapke ancestors ne lagaya us gaon ke teen bachchon ko panch bachchon ko shikshit kar dijiye unko padha dijiye aap samjhe ki aapka jeevan sarthak ho gaya because true education realistic education need based education and value based education that will come from the ancient values only so i am going to draw a combination today that try the golden triangle between media entertainment industry before that i will talk about education and then i will talk about the tourism industry also last 40 years when i have spent in this i can tell you how tourism can be a passport to peace when you meet someone when you greet someone you see the honking of the horns on the red light somewhere and on the crossing and if you get out from your car and when you are getting out from the car and you are going to the another car 
the other person is ready with the rod he says let him come i'll teach him the lesson how dare could he do the honking and how dare he could cross me but the moment you reach over there and you smile i think brother uh, you had a difficulty you please cross over then i'll go the whole thing will settle the things will settle there are couple of things you can do it you can plan but everything has to be done with bhartiya sanskriti your own values your own civilization your own purvaj what all they have given to you that's very important jab koi puche humse ki moglon aur angrezon ke aane se pehle bharat kaisa tha what kind of an india was there we have distorted we have changed the whole narrative i would say some of the people for their own vested interest history is not only to be read history is to be rewritten i am of a strong conviction and opinion because whether it is ncert whether it is nepa whether it is ugc whether it is aict whether it is national council for teacher education whatever is there jab tak shikshak ko nahi ye pata hoga ki batana kya hai and so many people i hold uh, राजीव सभी राजीव वहां पर राजीव वर्मा जी हैं जो प्रोग्राम ला रहे हैं एक राजीव मल्होत्रा जी हैं राजीव मल्होत्रा जी की जो लेटेस्ट बुक है पता नहीं मैं कितनी बार पढ़ चुका हूं और जितनी बार पढ़ता हूं आई गेट समथिंग न्यू ओवर देयर व्हेन ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस हाउ इट्स गोइंग टू चेंज and particularly when he says google devta and twitter devta and youtube devta and the other devtas when i listen and when i get deeper into that some of the people have done so much of injustice with our entire history and entire civilization i think they cannot be pardoned for their own vested interest they have been licking the boots of certain people getting some grants and other kind of things they do not know how much damage they have done to the country what kind of a civilization we were when i am going back to 15th century and all 28% contribution to the world economy that's coming from india and when 28% kind of a gdp contribution coming from india you can well imagine and then nobody unemployed nobody is going for job to anybody nobody is begging and how the whole thing got destroyed how intentionally knowingly in a very very structured way they did the damage but they alone cannot be blamed for that it was our own people their own bickering their own petty kind of a living and supremacy one or the other aapko bahar ka aadmi aakar tabhi tang karta hai jab aap andar ek jutt nahi hote hain when you join the armed forces you do not know who you are where have you come from you have been selected for a cause you have been trained for a cause you work for the cause you work in one particular direction all these beautiful universities when i look at takshila nalanda and vikramshila and all that when i get into the history during this pandemic i had so much of time what exactly this ancient indian universities and what kind of an education ecosystem over there and this person he had come and when he made a speech and his presentation in the british parliament on 2nd february 1835 and he told if you want to stay longer if you want to if you want to really rule because i have understood divide and rule is fine one fighting with another within the country itself one you know going little up another pull, pull down another pushed up and all those kind of things but he told unless we do not destroy their education ecosystem kyunki inki reed ki jo haddi hai wo inka education ecosystem hai let's first destroy in a very systematic in a very structured way and slowly and gradually they started destroying of course couple of other people before that when i look at 1947 independence what have we done after independence and i mean which way we have moved how the education narrative that has been misquoted and my grandchild in a third class the other day in a convent school studying 
I took out his book for the history. I didn't find a single example of any of the historian from India, any person from India, जब third class के बच्चे को वो narrative दिया ही नहीं जाएगा, उसको ये बताया ही नहीं जाएगा कि तुम्हारे कौन लोग थे. He doesn't know about Bhagat Singh. He doesn't know about Lala Lajpat Rai. He doesn't know about many other people. And अगर कोई मुझे ये कहे कि आजादी आपको बगैर bloodshed के और बगैर sacrifice के और बगैर लाशों के मिल गई तो आई एम सॉरी आई एम नॉट टू गोइंग टू बाई दैट बिकॉज माई एनसेस्टर्स माई एल्डर्स माई मदर वेन शी लिफ्ट एवरी थिंग एंड शी केम एंड हाउ शी लिफ्ट एंड विच वे शी लिफ्ट एंड हाउ शी ब्रॉट अस अप वी आर द सफरर्स वी नो वट एक्सैक्टली हैड हैपन एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम एंड दीज हिस्टोरियंस देव डन सो मच ऑफ डैमेज when they modified the actual history they changed the total narrative they changed the total perspective and i think with this new education policy 2020 which has come the first thing which has to be done is history is not only to be read it is to be rewritten in a right way in a right perspective with the narration of our own people kamlesh ji was also talking about nana nani and dada dadi and all yes before we used to sleep we used to listen those stories and that used to build our character and i got the pledge about 72 years back as a small child that look i have to serve the country i have to join the armed forces i have to put on the uniform i got to do something for my own nation whatever we can do and in 1947 when so called india got independence 21 universities 496 colleges and that was the kind of a scenario i do not want to tell about 5000 students so today when i just go through the last year statistics little up on that 2020 there are 1028 universities and can you imagine there are approximately 38.5 million youth in the higher education at the same time there are 15 lakh schools in india and there are 250 million students and i still feel this uh, corona it's going to do maximum damage to education ecosystem lot of children are going to drop out particularly my girl child they are going to suffer more because still people get biased whereas we should start understanding ignorance se bada koi damage hai hi nahi ignorance sabse bada damage hai education real education realistic education uh, value based education ancient values based that all is the narrative which we have to give this gentleman i have been meeting very often god uh, give uh, you know deep uh, our deep condolences to his soul he departed during this corona and when i used to talk to him and the discussion used to be always the western school of thought is what is the purpose of education the first thing is economic that's why we say global market everything has become commercial everything we have put into the market education today how much can you pay how fat uh, fee you can pay what institution you can go i i do not want to get into a couple of other things but who decides that this university this university ranking and they are the first 100 top universities and all that i'm sorry to tell that nobody has gone to the bottom and understand what is the value based or the ancient value based education how can you draw the narrative on the parameters that how what kind of a physics or what kind of a chemistry or what kind of a biology or what kind of a marketing or what kind of a management and all that do we know what is life management do we understand that what children need kamlesh she was also i was hearing very carefully when she was telling today children are distorted they are spending more time on the social media than to talk to someone to sit with somebody and all the purpose of education narrated by western school of thought the first purpose is economic purpose second is social third is cultural then fourth is personal so remember economic is the first priority now go to the vasudev kutumbakam when you talk about your own ancient value jab main bhartiya sanskriti ki baat cheet karta hu to yahan par kya aata hai culture aapki values aapki sanskriti agar mere paas do roti hai to ek aap lijiye 
आप पहले आप ही ठीक रहिए और कैसे कैसे नरेटिव और किस किस तरीके की वैल्यू बेस्ड स्टोरीज एंड एजुकेशन आवर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स एंड ग्रेट ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स दे यूज टू गिव अस कल्चर इज द फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी बिकॉज यू आर नोन बाय योर कल्चर हु यू आर what you think what you wear what you what you talk what you think about others that's why the whole world was taken one family and our politeness should not be misunderstood our politeness or our brotherhood should not be taken when the time comes we are kshatriya that is the way one got to take into and second is social third comes economics and fourth of course every child has got a right to live their way that's called personal purpose maine koi subject choose kyun kiya let's move ahead teacher as a mentor in logon ki value se 1893 mein mujhe yahan tak bhi kai cheeze itni stories padhne ke baad so many things have come to my kisi ne inki pagdi ki piche se lat khinch diya kisi ne inka kurta khinch diya aur jab inhone murk ke kaha i'm sorry i hope you haven't got hurt so then they told oh he knows english also he can talk in english language also and then they ask him why do you wear these kind of clothes why do you wear this kind of turban and all that see kisi ki ignorance mein apna time waste karna that is not aapko aage badhna hai apne narrative ko lekar chalna hai you should get focused humko armed forces ki training mein ek hi baat sikhai jati hai focus 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 अर्जुन पे आंख भी मछली के उसी आंख पर थी नथिंग एल्स यू गॉट टू अंडरस्टैंड जो टीचर है हु द टीचर मेंटोर है गाइड है हैंड होल्डर है एंड ही सेस हु नोज द वे हु शोज द वे एंड हु गोज द वे वी डू वी रियली हैव मेंटोर्स डू वी रियली हैव टीचर्स माय हंबल रिक्वेस्ट इज ऑल माय ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड वेर यू आर अगर आप लोग इकट्ठे हो जाए तो जितनी बातचीत हो रही है ये सारा नैरेटिव उस डायरेक्शन में चल पड़ेगा इट इज द एजुकेशन एजुकेशन एंड एजुकेशन इट इज द एजुकेटर्स एजुकेटर्स एंड एजुकेटर्स यू गॉट टू अंडरस्टैंड लेट्स नॉट लेट्स नॉट बैसाखियों पर नहीं चलना है हमको एजुकेशन टू बी रीबिल्ड विद दॉलिस्टिक अप्रोच and when we are talking today post corona reskilling upskilling life long learning and repackaging and a multi skilling all that i'm very happy i have read more than 40 times those 66 pages which are there now called ministry of education earlier called ministry of hrd jab aap nayi education policy ko dekhenge each and every word has been taken but yes my challenge is the government has allocated in february 2021 9.5% is is the increase in the budget but at the same time what comes to my mind is 6% what they are planning to spend exclusively on the education ecosystem in india who is going to monitor whether 6% is going to be spent and number 2 mera sabse bada challenge hai the day my teachers my educators so called people those are in education ecosystem whether you have come willingly or you have come unwillingly and sometime i wonder sometime i wonder can you believe it don't think about your pounds or your dollars or your liras and your other currencies whatsoever you have got don't think about money all the time your 45 minutes webinar whatever subject you are expert in if you can give to bharat if you can give to gyan yagya it can change whole india it can change entire bharat hum sirf baatein karne se aur sirf ek narrative dene se kaam nahi chalega action 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 there is something very important which we have to get into and i'm very happy there is there is a new education policy 2020 it is no more teaching centric it's learning centric but the other day i was doing a program with some indians my fellow brothers and sisters indians those are in australia new zealand they gave me another dimension it's no more education is no more teaching centric no more learning centric now it has become co learners teachers are also learning they are also struggling struggling because they got to pick up the new threads the new technology and change is only constant 
change is very important in the 21st century this why i'm showing these slides because they will stay and change is inevitable speed is future adopting technology is unavoidable you cannot the only thing is you got to filter the information because you got to draw a very very well, you know, sizable balance. What is innovative education? What is need based education? And what is my challenge in India? Very population be here. Mujhe quality be chahiye. Mujhe speed be chahiye. Mujhe achhe teacher be chahiye. Or mujhe accountability be chahiye. Ki jo kuch aap kar rahe hai, kya usse really fayda ho raha hai. Responsibility brings accountability. That's what I have learned all the time. Let's make them more responsible. Or my bar bar apne brothers or sisters ko eki baat kaunga. Don't give money to anybody. Don't give money to anybody. Just give gyan daan. Just give jo kuch bhi tumhe aata hai. Seek lo or ek dousse ke saath share kar lo. There's a bombardment of information. Can you imagine? Change is too fast. Raat ko aap sote hai. Early in the morning you get up. What new apps have come? What new changes have come? And this change is overwhelming the youth. And look at them. They both are busy with their mobile phone and laptops and iPads. They are not interested. And this new education policy, we are getting the coding right from the sixth class. And we are going to make them more technical. You cannot see. Information is overloaded. So much of information is coming. And there's an accelerated rate. There's another challenge this technology is bringing to all of. Look at these two people. One is myself. I'm sitting over here. On the other side is my grandchild kind of an age youngster who is sitting over there. If you talk to him and if you tell him, excuse me, uh, where are you traveling to? He feels offended. Why are you wasting his time? Why are you interfering in his personal life? For that matter, we are getting away. So the elder, he's pretending to be busy. I won't say he's busy. He's pretending to be busy that he's reading a book or a novel or something, whatever he is. Youngster, he's having more a virtual platonic world. They are going away. Inko wapis kaun leke aayega? Hum jo values ki baat chit kar rahe hain, hum civilization ki baat chit kar rahe hain, kaise aayenge? I think this photograph shows everything. The challenge has to be bridged. The gap has to be done by both the elders also and youngsters also. Hamare pitaji ko aur unke pitaji ko har baar ye change aya aur hamesha ye laga ki nahi ye bachcho ko to kuch nahi aata hai. Agri generation ko laga inhe kuch nahi aata hai. But the speed, <coughs> excuse me, all of us, those are in education ecosystem. You got to pull up your socks now. Education is not going to be the way it used to be. We all got to understand education has got total now accelerated path and we need practical students the children those are coming out of schools colleges universities you are churning them like a heap of a garbage that's not needed your kagaj ka tukda, your certificate your degree is of no use because the corporate sector is telling these children are not employable these are not acceptable i cannot take them so the corporate sector have started thinking why not we should set up our own training centers why children are going over there? The other day, we had uh, Professor Dr. Karbari from America. What a wonderful input she gave it over there. Now coming to 25th of March, complete lockdown, everything coming to standstill. We took a pledge. We are going to help teachers and youth. Ladies and gentlemen, during pandemic, we are focusing on domestic tourism. People are traveling to different locations. I'm very happy that the Honorable Prime Minister has given a call and the Ministry of Tourism is working on that. Dekho apna desh. Having stayed in Army, having stayed in Ministry of Tourism, Government of India, and having spent and walked the planet for 72 years, when I look back, I haven't seen my entire Bharat till date. Six months I was traveling continuously, going from length and breadth, inch by inch to all the districts, all the states. I could not complete India. We were organizing All India Tourism Quiz Contest. Now the Prime Minister has given a call during this pandemic travel to different locations. As a CSR activity, our main focus is how do I help those five crore people? Now, ladies and gentlemen, education and skills are incomplete without 
I think every university, every college, every institution take on the responsibility for the next five years. You should keep it track where the child is going, whether they are getting into startup, entrepreneurship, employment. With the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, we identified 12 sectors in the service industry where we are focusing. With the Ministry of MSME, a couple of things we have done together, tourism and hospitality, media entertainment plays very important role. There's a film-induced tourism. 1960s, when you go back, Shirnagar, Kashmir ki Kali being shot and Shami Kapoor and all these people. Today, the narrative has changed. It's an Indian movie. It's an Indian story. It's an Indian narration. It's an Indian screenplay. But they're going abroad and shooting everything over there, draining out the foreign exchange, draining the money of India. And at the same time, shooting in those locations, generating employment over there, building infrastructure over there, how are they contributing? So we have given a call to entire media entertainment industry. And you'll be happy to know that 15th of this month, right from morning 11 o'clock till evening 8 o'clock, entire film industry of India is getting together on a platform with us on the GS Motivator YouTube channel, live telecast world over. Now, this is a mind blowing. UP is building a 1000 acre new film city. Can you imagine Raja Harish Chandra post pandemic? The Natak, how it's getting converted into a movie? 1991 was the game changer. When the economy got opened up, they changed the narrative. 1960, Shirnagar, 1990, Switzerland, 2006, Singapore, and now 2015, 16, all the way to Spain, contributing to those economies, the film induced tourism. And people from India moving as an outbound tourism and spending the money in those countries. And I'm also very sorry. I didn't want to show this slide, but unless I don't show, it will not shake you up. The movies, the songs, the television, the social media, what a destruction. If you show violence, if you show sex, if you show negative things, then your movie is grand success. And at the same time, do we understand? Why are we blaming children? The mental health when we say that they see vulgarity and they see bad things because we change the narrative. Can we bring youth back? Can we really bring them back? How do we bring them back? What do we do? And all of us, we got to think about it. How are we going to make a change on that? And this particular conference for two days, which Raji Varmaji is doing, the films can play a very important role. Media entertainment industry has to play a constructive and a responsible role, not only making money. It is something like Raji Malhotraji says, it is not that you have got a 5 million subscriber on YouTube. What is YouTube? Tell me, what is YouTube? It is basically you have got a virtual world like children are having platonic Facebook friends whom you will never meet, you have never met, but you are very happy. You're into that kind of a false world and you're away from your own parents and nana nani. So, film tourism, it affects your mental wellness, physical wellness, environmental wellness, and of course, your economic wellness. These kind of a movies, what we used to have like Dosti, Tari Zameen Par, slowly and gradually, the destruction which is coming. Education system also rocked very well in the three idiots. I definitely believe that the art, if somebody says, we don't need art, STEM is fine, sorry. The physics, chemistry, and biology cannot change the world alone. We don't, don't need the discovery only on those things. The world is resting, standing, empowering, developing, nourishing, chiseled on art, my art and culture, my heritage, my civilization. Roti kapla or makan. Ek buddha brahman dikhao, ek gaon mein dikhao, ya to wo kisi temple mein kisi ka rape kar raha hai, the girl who has come over there. The narrative intentionally has been changed. It's a destruction. The tourists, those are coming to India. They are interested to click the photographs only of Jugi Jompri. They are interested to show only poverty. They want to show the garbage. They want to show filth. They want to show poverty, starvation, hunger. They do not want to show because that will only change the narrative to suit their agenda what they have got political because they have been funded by a particular lobby and a particular university or institution. They got the money from there. India has got something very natural when I'm talking about holistic, 
स्पिरिचुअल टूरिज्म पिलग्रमेज टूरिज्म 1991 से पहले हम पिलग्रमेज की ही बात करते थे इफ आई रियली वॉन्ट टू ब्रिंग बैक इंडिया once again to everything i got to reflect and i got to protect and i got to display my real real cultural heritage of india everywhere wherever i go what i wear i think accordingly jab main army ki uniform pehenta hu to main soldier hu jab main kurta pajama pehen ke aur professor satender dhiman ji ki tarah ya professor vivek shankar natarajan ji ki tarah mujhe लगना नहीं चाहिए कि मैंने माथे पर वो तिलक क्यों लगाया है द ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर वांट्स टू मेक इट अ फाइव ट्रिलियन इकोनॉमी इट कैन गो फाइव ट्रिलियन बियॉन्ड फाइव ट्रिलियन आल्सो इट्स अ वंडरफुल एजेंडा व्हाट ही टेकन ऑल ऑफ अस वी हैव टू गेट टुगेदर इंडिया विश्व गुरु था इसको दोबारा बदना है इफ यू वॉन्ट अ पीस एंड अ प्रॉस्पेरिटी वर्ल्ड ओवर क्योंकि कुछ लोगों का धंधा और काम सिर्फ आर्म्स और आर्मामेंट्स और डिस्ट्रक्शन पर ही सरवाइव करता है उन पॉलिटिशनों की उन लोगों की उन कॉर्पोरेट की अपनी फैक्ट्रीज हैं जो एमिनेशन दिन रात बनाती हैं एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर मूवमेंट विच राजीव वर्मा जी हैज इनिशिएटेड आई थिंक इट्स ग्रेट रेडियो टेलीविजन थिएटर म्यूजिक फिल्म digital ott platforms games why are we having destructive games all the time why can't we bring the games which is positive india may be we have given the narrative like you have got a g7 uh, for the world there's a g7 for india jnk has come out with a new film policy we are proud the once again they have thought that the films can bring the entire change it can change the narrative and through the lens because time paucity is there i am not getting into the details every year on 13th of january we all get together and we are having about 12 lakh people my only humble appeal is this is the honorable prime minister in 2003 and here is a gentleman who changed the whole narrative our media entertainment sector skill council manmohan singh ji who is with us and he has shot all the movies with yash chopra ji with switzerland and i requested him get back to india and he was very kind we are taking him to north east part of india he changed the narrative of the punjabi cinema punjabi cinema used to be lungi and lacha 7 10 lakh ke andar ek picture banayi aur usko dikha diya he changed the whole narrative and he told no and this is the north east i am talking about ladies and gentlemen integral parts of so many things which we have to work out advantage assam 6000 nris from the north east getting together we brought them on a common platform north east is beautiful we are doing quite a bit of it and it is something which is coming up over there because the agendas have to be taken this is a finishing school free of cost our chamber brought to india with the help of our brothers and sisters technical know how innovation creativity whatever you have got jahan par bhi aap hai aapke paise nahi chahiye लेकिन अपने इंटेलेक्चुअल कैपिटल को तो साथ जोड़िए भारत को आगे बढ़ाने के लिए 1994 वी ब्रॉट एंड आई एम प्राउड टू शेयर 52,000 स्टूडेंट्स हैव गॉन फ्रॉम हियर टिल डेट नॉट ए सिंगल रुपी बीइंग टेकन फ्रॉम एनी स्टूडेंट नॉट ए सिंगल रुपी ऑल द पावर इज इन द यूथ यूथ इज टुडे एंड यूथ इज टुमारो टीचर्स नीड हैंड होल्डिंग दे आर स्ट्रगलिंग अ लॉट बिकॉज अनलेस यू डोंट हैव पावर टीचर्स नथिंग कैन बी डन we have done the case study on punjab the child doesn't know why is he going to canada why are they moving over there they say agar mujhe canada nahi bhej sakte to mujhe dharmendra bana do mujhe media entertainment industry mein hi dal do somewhere you can put me over there now we got to understand what you think and what youth want there are 37 sector skill councils which narendra modi ji has brought in india these sector skill councils are taking verticals with education and ladies and gentlemen 27th september is a world tourism day there are very less soldiers those from the uniform get an opportunity to do their masters and phd i've been teaching in america i've been teaching in canada i've been teaching in australia i've been teaching in europe i have been traveling to all the places two months in a year i have been going and i've gone length and breadth of the universities institutions and having walked more than 75% planet coming from the tourism background i never stay in a hotel i go and stay with some family to whom i know ghar ka khana un logon ko milna unse baat chit karna unki values ko samjha unke dukh dard ko samajhna unki living ko samajhna wo aage kya sochte hain 
उसको समझना और वापस भारत आना वी आर लॉन्चिंग ऑन ट्वेंटी सेवन सेप्टेम्बर ऑन द वर्ल्ड टूरिज्म डे पूरे ग्लोबल फ्रटर्निटी के लिए ऑन द वर्ल्ड टूरिज्म डे वी आर लॉन्चिंग ई गुरुकुल ज्ञान यज्ञ ई गुरुकुल ज्ञान यज्ञ फॉर सर्विस इंडस्ट्री देर आर फिफ्टी फोर वर्टिकल इन सर्विस इंडस्ट्री हमने दो वर्टिकल लिए हैं एक टूरिज्म और एक मीडिया एंटरटेनमेंट ये ज्ञान यज्ञ है इसमें आहुति किसी के पैसों की नहीं चाहिए आप वर्ल्ड में जहां भी हैं जिस जगह भी हैं जिस कंट्री में हैं और राजीव वर्मा जी के माध्यम से अगर आप इस प्रोग्राम को जुड़ रहे हैं अगर आप भारत को सक्षम देखना चाहते हैं आप भारतीयता संस्कृति को देखना चाहते हैं भारत की वैल्यूज को देखना चाहते हैं आपको एजुकेशन सिस्टम को एम्पावर करना पड़ेगा अब आप किसी बच्चे को वैसे गुरुकुल दिखाओगे और जब वो यूट्यूब पर जाएगा तो उसका नेरेटिव भी बदल जाएगा ही कहेगा दादा नो 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 आई एम नॉट इंटरेस्टेड टू गो टू गुरुकुल बट इफ यू टेल एम ई गुरुकुल एंड यू टेल एम इट इज थ्रू डिजिटल किसी बच्चे को किसी के पास नहीं आना है किसी टीचर को किसी के पास नहीं आना है दीज आर रिकॉर्डेड प्रोग्राम्स विच आर इन द एयर इन द क्लाउड एंड वी ऑल कैन गेट टूगेदर वी कैन वर्क टूगेदर लास्ट नाइट we have done the curtain raiser because professor satender dhiman who is a recipient of the best management teacher award in america in 2013 he is our senior patron he was 3 years our president also dr as marwaha amarjit singh marwa california mein malibu mein jinke yahan par 500 log ek time mein jaakar bharat se जो लोग अमेरिका जाते हैं रहते हैं खाते हैं पीते हैं और वो अपने घर में लंगर की तरह करते हैं ही वॉज ऑल्सो आर प्रेसिडेंट फॉर थ्री ईयर विनोद खन्ना जी जब गए थे अमेरिका फिल्म इंडस्ट्री को छोड़कर ही स्टेड एट हिज रेजिडेंस फॉर थ्री एंड हाफ मंथ वट आई वॉन्ट टू विश इज अगर सही लोग और ठीक लोग अच्छे लोग पॉजिटिव लोग डायनेमिक लोग क्रिएटिव लोग और इनोवेटिव लोग अच्छे कॉज के लिए जब इकट्ठे जुड़ते हैं तो राजीव वर्मा जी जो सोच रहे हैं और इस ई गुरुकुल में हम क्या लेकर आ रहे हैं क्या चीजें हैं म्यूजिक है डांस है गेम्स है हैप्पीनेस है ह्यूमर है फन है क्रिएटिविटी है क्यूरियोसिटी है स्टोरी टेलिंग है स्टिमुलेशन है फॉलोइंग पैशन है बच्चे आज भूल ही गए कि कभी दादा दादी कहानी सुनाया करते थे देर इज नो सच बिकॉज क्योंकि फैमिलीज ही चेंज हो गई है ज्वाइंट फैमिलीज ही चेंज हो रही है और एजुकेशन में हम थ्योरी क्यों पढ़ा रहे हैं वाई आर वी नॉट टीचिंग विच इज माय विच इज हैविंग रेलिवेंस टू माय डे टू डे लिविंग बच्चा पॉलिटेक्निक में पढ़ रहा है आईटीआई में पढ़ रहा है डिप्लोमा कर रहा है सर्टिफिकेट कोर्स कर रहा है किस चीज का इलेक्ट्रिशियन का लेकिन उसको घर का बल्ब चेंज करना नहीं आता है वट इज द यूज ऑफ दैट एजुकेशन दिस इज माई सेकेंड लास्ट स्लाइड ग्लोबल पीस कैन कम ओनली थ्रू वैल्यू बेस्ड एजुकेशन कोई चीज दुनिया की नहीं बदल सकती मैं आज आपको बता रहा हूं ये नेरेटिव सिर्फ और सिर्फ लेक्चर से या बातों से नहीं बदलेगा जब तक आप अपने थॉट प्रोसेस को नहीं बदल पाएंगे हम सबको इकट्ठे होकर अपने बच्चों को वो वैल्यूज देनी होंगी वो नेरेटिव देना होगा एजुकेशन में टाइम जरूर लगता है इसीलिए कोई भी एजुकेशन मंत्री नहीं बनना चाहता वो किसी दूसरे डिपार्टमेंट में जाना चाहता है क्योंकि आप प्रधानमंत्री को दो साल में नहीं दिखा सकते कि आपने क्या किया बाकी डिपार्टमेंट में आप दिखा सकते हैं यहां बारह साल तो स्कूल में लगते हैं और पांच साल यूनिवर्सिटी में लगते हैं सत्रह साल कौन इंतजार करता है सो दैट फाइल इज एंड जर्नमैन आर चेंबर स्ट्रॉन्गली रिकमेंड इफ यू वॉन्ट रियली टू ब्रिंग भारतीयता इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ब्रिंग यू नो भारतीय संस्कृति देन एजुकेशन इज गोइंग टू प्ले वेरी पिविटल एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल और उसके साथ साथ पॉजिटिव फिल्म्स, पॉजिटिव मीडिया एंटरटेनमेंट इंडस्ट्री और उसी के साथ साथ पीस टूरिज्म टूरिज्म कैन बी अ पासपोर्ट टू पीस इफ यू कैन वर्क आउट इन द राइट डायरेक्शन जब भी आप भारत ट्रैवल करें जब भी आप भारत आए आप आमंत्रित हैं हम आपको आदर सत्कार सम्मान देंगे और जिस भी सब्जेक्ट पे आप बोलना चाहते हैं आप वेबिनार में कभी भी आइए किसी दिन आइए आप रात को दो बजे भी कहेंगे तो मैं आपके लिए उठने को रेडी हूं क्योंकि मेरी बची हुई विशेष जीवन किसी कार्य में किसी काम में कहीं आना चाहिए बिकॉज जब तक आदमी को यह समझ आती है कि वॉट्स एवर ह्यूमन माइंड कैन कंसीव एंड बिलीव इट कैन अचीव तब तक जाने का समय हो जाता है The most unfortunate part is that हमको जब तक समझ आती है बहुत देर हो चुकी होती है I personally feel आप सब लोगों को हम सब लोगों को इकट्ठा होना है 
और इस पूरे कॉज के लिए क्योंकि देखिए मैंने आर्मी की यूनिफॉर्म में यह भी समझ किया कि कुछ लोगों का काम धंधा ही डिस्ट्रक्शन है उन लोगों ने तो बनाने ही आर्म्स और आर्मामेंट्स हैं उनके हथियार नहीं बिकेंगे लड़ाई नहीं होगी तो उनकी तो फैक्ट्री बंद हो जाएगी क्योंकि उनका तो निर्वाह ही उसी पर हो रहा है लेकिन देर आर अदर पीपल दो वर्किंग इन द डायरेक्शन हाउ टू सेव ह्यूमन रेस हाउ टू लिव पीसफुली हाउ टू लिव विद वैल्यूज हाउ टू गो इन ए पॉजिटिव एन ए सिस्टमेटिक एन ए डायनेमिक वे और ये सब कुछ सिर्फ ओल्ड जनरेशन अकेली नहीं कर पाएगी युवा पीढ़ी की सोच को बदलना होगा युवा पीढ़ी को साथ जोड़ना होगा आप उनको नकार नहीं सकते आप ये नहीं कह सकते बिकॉज इफ एनी चाइल्ड इज क्राइंग यू जस्ट से टेक दिस मोबाइल फोन गो एंड सिट ओवर देयर वॉच दिस पर्टिकुलर गेम द चाइल्ड इज स्पेंडिंग टाइम ऑफ दैट ओनली दैट्स नॉट द नेरेटिव विद दीज वर्ड लेज इन जनमेन my deepest gratitudes and thanks to rajiv verma ji and also to professor vivek shankar natrajan ji anjali swami ji kamlesh kapoor ji murthi gant murthi ganti ji and akshay gupta ji and uh, jo logon ko bhi main samne dekh pa raha hu i would like to convey my deep gratitudes and thanks to all of you you people are doing great job you people are doing wonderful job let's get together let's work together let's move together let's change the total packaging perception history is not only to be read history is to be rewritten thank you thank you very much to everybody thanks a lot wish you all a wonderful evening meri to shubh prabhat aapke sath hi shuru hui hai aap logon ke sath hi ye shubh din shuru hua hai thanks a lot thank you uh, thank you gulshan ji like a true soldier you have finished uh, two minutes before i thought we could take some q and a but i don't think so uh, we may have time for it but my request to all the panelists and anybody who's watching this is uh, we are not here to just do one thing and be done this is an ongoing thing education is an ongoing process dr sharma uh, is uh, 724 bar 7 where you know he is available on his uh, you know youtube channel but he is also requesting anybody who has a passion for education and skill development to come and be part of the webinars uh, you know uh, let me, i have one vivek, question i'll take ji, one question ramesh uh, vivek vivek ji i just want to tell all my brothers and sisters they are doing wonderful job mai anjali ji ko bhi dhyan se sun raha tha when she was conducting and moderating that program and so patiently and everything she was taking every evening ist when i talk about indian standard time 8 pm irrespective aandhi ho toofan ho barish ho monday ho ki sunday ho major dr gulshan sharma is on the youtube gs motivator gulshan sharma motivator pehle mujhe apne aap ko motivate karna hai मुझे अपने आप को इंस्पायर करना है दैट इज समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट देन ओनली आई कैन इंस्पायर अदर्स यू कैन लॉग इन यू कैन ज्वाइन यू कैन कम स्ट्रेट वे जी एस मोटिवेटर एवरी इवनिंग आई एस टी एट पी एम आई एम देयर एंड आई गेट समबडी वेयर आई एम अम्बल स्टूडेंट एंड आई लर्न फ्रॉम अदर्स प्रोफेसर विवेक शंकर राजन जी थैंक यू आई थिंक टेक वन क्वेश्चन रमेश जी कैन यू बी वेरी ब्रीफ बिकॉज वी आर ऑलरेडी एट नाइन रमेश नोने जी कैन यू अनम्यूट यूर सेल्फ अनम्यूट अनम्यूट या Hello, uh, Namaste, sir. Uh, this is Ramesh Nune from Minneapolis. Uh, uh, we, I am uh, representing uh, Agastya Gurukulam. It's a online home school, uh, full time and part time. Hello, Namaste. हाँ जी जी मैं सुन रहा हूँ मैं सुन रहा हूँ आगे बताइए आगे बताइए हाँ तो uh, so uh, we are teaching a full uh, complete decolonized education in Sanskritam based education. All subjects are being taught in Sanskritam. Uh, i would like to get in touch with you and see how we can have any cooperation together <laughs> any time ramesh ji <laughs> ye jo ye jo body temple hai jo kamlesh madam keh rahi thi ki ye body temple hai aur is body ko aap kis tarike se kar rahe ho aur anjali ji itne acche se us program ko karwa rahi thi main usko pure program ko dhyan se suna meri to aaj subah ki jo prayer hai wo wahi se shuru hui i thought let me listen that very carefully ramesh ji 24 hours आखिरी दम तक मन से यही पुकार है कि ये प्राण भी निकले ये श्वास भी निकले तो कहीं ना कहीं किसी के साथ जुड़कर सीखते हुए ही निकले अब दैट्स ऑल दैट्स ऑल थैंक यू
thank you sir thank you gulshan ji thank you ramesh ji uh, again uh, you know as an educator uh, this is always humbling because if there is somebody who can change the narrative in the long term it is only the educator that is why the acharyas you know the chandragupta maurya empire people talk about it but the seed of that was the chanakya the acharya and uh, so never underestimate the power of the teacher so thank you the and if there is anybody and same thing uh, you know whether it is uh, vyasa or valmiki or uh, you know all the maharishis they are all teachers and the teachers are the one who bring dharma back so it is very very fitting uh, i think we have uh, who i don't know who the moderator for the next session is anjali ji can you help me out because i see one more hand go up and uh, if i don't get anybody anjali else ji, anjali ji anjali ji anjali ji anjali ji and so, the, so the next is anjali swami and it's anant kumar ji Okay, Anand Kumar ji. So, can we take one more question, or are we ready? Yeah, to go ahead. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, okay, quick, quick. Uh, others, ji, go ahead. Unmute yourself uh, because uh, I don't, I don't want to, you know, ask. You, uh, please unmute and ask your question. Okay, quick one. I like your speech about art being very important to change anything, but I will add one more word that a deputy director of NASA told me is the design. so we have formed not stem but steam d d for design so wow. please keep in mind because famous steve jobs was not a computer guy he was a great designer it took 2 years to just design the cover of a laptop wonderful wonderful yeah, sir yeah. thank you very much thank you very much sir we understand yeah. that and it's a wonderful design thinking design is also very important why main jaate you? jaate 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 ye kehna chahunga i do not know why teachers think if you are serious if you have got a long face if you are too sober then only people will take you seriously why don't we smile why don't we laugh why don't we sing why don't we bring humor why don't we bring happiness i always go to lots of schools particularly i'm sorry if i'm annoying anybody i'm sorry and i apologize well in advance my convent school ke bahar jata hu wahan ek mahila baithi hoti hai wo kehti yes i said ma'am good morning to you good morning uh, ma'am i just want to pay my regards to principal why uh, ma'am just uh, who are you okay two question then one slip goes inside principal doesn't want to smile i personally feel you think that your value will go down your chair will i mean to say i do not know jis kursi par main baitha hu hum ye kyun nahi sochte ki lakhon log is par mere se pehle baithe aur mere baad bhi lakhon log baithenge ye temporary safar hai don't become permanent customer over here you are temporarily and let's bring value isliye as a soldier as a teacher as a tourism professional i would say ae vatan ae vatan humko teri kasam teri raahon mein ja tak luta jayenge why why don't we sing why don't we be musical why don't we be happy all the time kisi ne smile kiya to aapko lagta hai ki misunderstanding hai ye smile kyun hua are yaar kya matlab I, i fail to understand god bless god bless all of us thank you very much thank you very much rajiv verma ji and thank you very much professor vivek shankar natrajan ji and thank you very much because anjali swami ma'am had a hearty laugh and a, such a big laugh i felt so and so goes for adarsh deepak ji also thank you thank you we thank must you, smile we must laugh <laughs> on that on that uh, happy note and that uh, you know let me oh, hand over the floor to anjali ji uh, the floor is uh, please uh, take over thank you by the way in our yoga class that's the last thing we do laughter roaring and laughter just thank you sir <laughs> thank you sir thank you and same goes for anjali swami ma'am